And today we're taking a look at how to make guacamole easy and simple. So you woke up today craving that delicious green food. Don't worry, today we're gonna satisfy that craving. Everything used on the video and the recipe we're gonna leave in the description. Today, we're gonna use a whole bag of avocados. You could either use the bag with the eight small ones or the one with the four or five big ones. And with this recipe, it will work just fine. So the most important thing is to know if you touch it and they feel soft, that means they're ready. But you don't want them too squishy because they could be overripened. Another way is by removing the stem. If it comes off easily, that means they're ripe. But if you notice it comes off too easy and they look black inside, that means they're overripened. Now, the most important thing is to know how you like your avocados. In our case, we like them just before they go bad, super soft. But if you like them a little bit more firm, then when you touch them, you wanna feel that firmness that you like. Our second ingredient is gonna be a whole lemon or a lime, a whole tomato of your choice, a big pepper or four small ones, a quarter of a pack of cilantro, one large clove of garlic or two small ones, and the last thing on our list is half an onion. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and chop our onion in small cubes. We can save the other half on the fridge and let him or her know that it survived one more day, even if it's missing half of its body. Now we're gonna cut the peppers. We're also gonna cut them in cubes and it's up to you if you wanna remove the seeds. In our case, we're looking forward to growing forests in our stomachs. Let's go ahead and cut the tomato in cubes as well. And we like making the cubes right on the tomato before we slice it. It makes the job a lot easier because you know there's nothing harder than cutting vegetables in the comfort of an AC music filled room. Meanwhile, you record this for YouTube. Now we're gonna cut our cilantro in fine pieces. If you want to remove the stem, that's up to you. And a trick that we like to do is to fold it two or three times before we cut it. That makes the chopping process a lot easier. Now we're gonna go ahead and finely chop our garlic. And an easy way to peel them is by squashing them with your knife. And then we use the seesaw knife method, which has been handed down by generation and generation. Let's go ahead and squeeze that lime or lemon. And now we season to taste. In our case, we're gonna do a pinch of black pepper and three or four pinches of salt. We can go ahead and combine everything together. And now we finally got to the most dangerous part of the recipe, and that's cutting avocados. And to avoid some red splashes of red paint on your guacamole, here are some techniques. First, let's go ahead and open the avocado. And you wanna get your knife until you fill the pit. And instead of twisting your knife, twist the avocado. Leave your knife in one place. If you see any dark spots on your avocado, you can remove them with a spoon. Now you have two choices. You can use that same spoon to remove the pit and lose some of the avocado, or you can use the knife to remove it. Remember, losing some avocado, but not losing your hand, feels like a win-win. Here's another trick that we like to use. You could either use the spoon if the avocado is soft enough, or we like to use a butter knife. You can make the cubes right on the avocado and then remove them with a spoon. If you're gonna save your guacamole for a later time, then you wanna save the pits to place them 
on the mix. This is gonna help them from getting darker until you're finally ready to eat it. Now you're done with one. The only thing you need to do now is do that for the rest of them. Once we have all the avocados chopped up, we can go ahead and mix it in the bowl. And we like using the folding and squish method. So we can have soft and firm spot. If you like it real firm, then you just want to fold. If you like it like a mash style, then you would just squish and turn. If you're going to save this for later, you want to place a plastic wrapping around the guacamole without leaving any air gaps. But if you're ready like us, you can go ahead and eat it right away. Now you can go ahead and pat yourself in the back for a job well done. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.